How's it going guys? Today I wanted to go over three proven techniques that you can use to catch walleyes in shallow water this spring. And then I wanna go over three other techniques that I've used that are much less mainstream, but I've caught a lot of walleyes in the springtime using those three methods. So we'll get into that in a little bit. First of all, let's go through the where, the why, and the what, and we'll, then we'll get into the how in a minute. So in the springtime, walleyes are shallow because of the spawn in general. The, the spawn pushes them shallow, they do their thing, and they hang around for a while. And a lot of the bait fish move shallow as well. The water's warmer there. There's a lot of reasons those fish are shallow. And when I say shallow, I mean anywhere from three to about 15 feet, depending on the body of water you're fishing. Uh, typically darker stained bodies of water, they're gonna be shallower and more clear bodies of water, they're gonna be a little bit deeper. Oftentimes these fish are pretty aggressive. They're easy to find, uh, they're concentrated. So it's a great time of year to fish for walleyes. Now this can happen anywhere from April through about beginning of June, middle of June, when the water temps hit the mid 60s or so, then those fish tend to push out deeper. So it's a pretty long period of time as well. Now these fish are gonna be uh, spooky a lot of times. So trolling is a difficult way to catch them. You're not gonna do well trolling most likely. You're gonna snag a lot of bottom and you're gonna spook fish with the boat. Uh, vertical jigging is almost out of the question in most cases because if you go in six feet of water and get right over the top of a walleye, it's long gone. So casting is the preferred method for fishing in the spring, casting and pitching, and that's what these techniques are going to be concentrating on. So with that said, now you kind of understand what these walleyes are doing, why they're there, and uh, kind of how long they hang around and what depth to look at. Let's get into how to catch them. So like I said, these first three techniques are techniques you can rely on day in and day out. They've been proven over time to just catch walleyes. And the first one is gonna be a jig and a minnow. So you can use a plain lead head jig like this. I believe this is a eighth ounce and you can go all the way up to three eighths of an ounce, but you wanna keep it fairly light in the springtime. You don't want that bait moving too fast. And you can tip that with a minnow. I have actually a video that goes super in depth on how to hook a minnow on a jig and I'll leave a, a tab for that right here. You can click on that and watch that video if you want. Uh, you can just pitch these jigs around shallow cover, gravel flats, gravel bars, uh, weed edges, that kind of thing. And it's just going to be a very natural presentation to fish slower and catch some of these more finicky walleyes. And it also casts fairly well with that lead head on there. Uh, a couple other variations of jigs you can use would be one with a spinner like that and a short shank kind of keeps that, that uh, package nice and compact. And then another great option is a stand-up jig like this. You can uh, fish that on the bottom and drag it and just drag it along. And sometimes that really triggers those walleyes, keeps that minnow standing up off the bottom. And that can be a great option as well. So a jig and a minnow is just probably the number, I mean, it's not probably, it is the number one technique if you're gonna just go out and catch a bunch of walleyes for the pan, it's a very reliable method, uh, but it is not the only way to catch walleyes in the spring. All right guys, number two is stick bait fishing. So stick baits have been catching fish ever since the first Rapala was thrown years and years ago, and these baits will catch fish to this day. Uh, one of the best walleye techniques for early spring is casting these babies up on shallow rock, shallow gravel, sand, uh, anywhere those fish are hanging out on hard cover. They're a much quicker way to fish than a jig, and at, walleyes absolutely love them when they're up shallow looking for bait fish to eat. So uh, my two favorite stick baits in the springtime for walleyes are the Rappel X-Rap and the Shadow Wrap Deep. And this X-Rap here will get down to, you know, three to eight feet, and the Deep will get down to about 10 to 15 feet, depending on what line you throw and, and et cetera. So it kind of covers the spectrum for the shallow walleye bite in the spring. Now, how we're gonna fish these in the springtime is just a, a twitch, pause, retrieve. So a twitch, pause, long pause, twitch, twitch, pause. And what that bait is gonna do is it's gonna move real fast and then it's gonna hang. It's got a neutral buoyancy, so it's not gonna sink, it's not gonna float, it's just gonna hang right there and those fish come over to investigate and that next twitch, they just pounce on it. And it triggers fish like crazy. Great way to fish in the springtime. And uh, you'll probably catch a bunch of smallmouth doing this too. It's a great way to catch a mixed bag. Now, one other thing you can do with sick baits is you can long cast them at night or in low light conditions and just straight retrieve them across structure. So gravel and rock, just swim them 
tick bottom once in a while and those fish find that easy to track they see that flash hear that vibration and they'll just pounce on that bait so uh, again stick baits if you haven't tried them in the springtime it's a must fish bait for for spring walleyes i would definitely give it a shot and i'll leave a link for these baits and everything else in the description so you can pick them up easily uh, just click on that description and you'll find them in there so uh, let's move on to number three all right guys, number three hasn't been around quite as long as the jig and minnow or the stick bait, but it's still been around long enough to prove itself and that is the lipless crankbait. So a lot of guys use rip and wraps. There's a bunch of different brands. I personally like the Z-Viber from Euro Tackle. It's been a killer for me. Caught so many fish on this bait. Uh, it comes in some really good pan fishy colors that mimic what walleyes eat. Uh, everything from shad to bluegill to, to perch. And I'm going to typically fish uh, like an eighth ounce to a three eighths ounce size for the walleyes in the springtime. I don't like to go too big with these, uh, but they do uh, really, really sink fast and you can fish them fairly quickly. It's more of a reaction bite. And the way we're going to fish these is basically we're going to jig them. So you're going to cast them out, let them sink to the bottom. This works great on big sand flats when those fish are up cruising the edges of those sand flats, gravel flats. Uh, longer rock points that kind of thing and what we're going to do we're going to cast it out let it sink to bottom we're going to pull it up and let it sink pull it up let it sink we're not going to rip it it's too aggressive for springtime you want to just get it vibrating just barely just feel that bump bump bump, bump and then let it drop to bottom bump, 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 let it drop to bottom and oftentimes those fish will just come and pin it right to the bottom when it hits bottom and it, it's got a lot of flash it's got a lot of rattle and it definitely triggers fish in the springtime. So uh, definitely add some of these to your arsenal. They're a great option to kind of switch it up when you're fishing in the springtime, but you know fish are gonna eat them. They have been proven over time, so give them a shot. So now let's get into the three techniques that I've been using to catch walleyes the last few springs, and uh, you might find some of these interesting. All right guys, so one of the techniques that I use in the springtime that you don't see a lot of guys doing is slip bobbering. So slip bobbering is often used in the summertime for deeper water, you know, throwing leeches and crawlers and that kind of thing. But I like to rig big minnows in the springtime for walleyes on a slip float. And if you think about it, there really isn't a lot of small bait fish for these walleyes to eat in the springtime. They haven't spawned yet. Most of the bait they're eating is pretty big. So I'm using like four to six inch suckers, shiners, that kind of thing. And I'm gonna pitch them to fish I can see on live sonar or on my side imaging. You know, fish that I know are there on a spot on a spot or fish I can actually identify. This is not a good way to cover water, but man, when you get that big minnow swimming in their face, it's pretty likely that bobber's gonna go down. So my rig consists of a pretty good size float because I want that to hold up a, a decent sized minnow. It's a weighted float. And then I've got a couple split shot and a fluorocarbon leader. Depending on if there's a lot of pike around, I might go 20 pound on it, but if it's just walleyes, probably more like eight. And then I've been using circle hooks for the last few years. And circle hooks allow me to release these walleyes much easier than if I was fishing with an octopus hook or, or a treble hook or something like that, because they slide to the corner of the fish's mouth and they hook them uh, outside of the mouth pretty much. So you're not gonna gut hook these fish. Um, also, bonus, it tends to do the same on pike, so you keep that line out of the pike's teeth. You don't lose as many hooks or rigs that way, and you can land some nice pike in the process. So circle hooks, I'll leave a link in the description for some of my favorites so you can find the, the best ones to use. But that's what I do. I just hook them through the back, let that minnow swim around on that circle hook, and when the fish bites with a circle, you don't set the hook. You just tighten up on them. So crank down and let them load up, and that hook will just pull right to the corner of the mouth. And you got your fish that's one of the methods i've been using it works really really well for me on a lot of our inland lakes on weed lines and uh, structure and also um, rivers you know below dams stuff like that where i can kind of let that drift through a hole below a dam it's a killer way to catch river walleyes so uh, that's technique number one of mine and that's the slip float now my second technique that i use a lot in the early springtime is a finesse swim bait so one of these thinner bodied swim baits with a, a smaller boot tail on it uh, this is a tungsten jig from clam and i can pitch this baby especially around current and 
anywhere you would throw like uh, basically a stick bait, you can, you can pitch these little swim baits. And a lot of guys do use swim baits, but they tend to use bigger, bulkier ones. I find these finesse ones to work better in the springtime. And uh, this is a three inch Euro Tackle uh, B-Vibe. It, it works great for me. It's just got a slight vibration, just that swimming action. You can jig it, you can straight swim it. I like to straight swim it a lot, just reel it in consistently just above the bottom and then once in a while just let it plummet to the bottom and jig it a couple times and then bring it back up and swim it. And that is an absolutely deadly technique with these little swim baits. I'll even go down to a two inch swim bait sometimes in really finicky conditions and that catches me while I was in places that nobody else is catching fish. So that's technique number two of mine and that is a finesse swim bait. Okay guys, now this is one of my favorites. This is a way that I've caught a lot of nice walleyes in the springtime that no one else can get to. And that is a weedless jig with a straight tail jig worm on the back of it. Uh, this can go through almost any weed cover you can imagine. I'm gonna put on a quarter ounce jig, maybe an eighth ounce jig, depending on how thick the weeds I have to go through with that weed guard and I'm gonna pitch it in weeds. Weeds in the springtime, hold lots and lots of bait. Lots and lots of bait means lots and lots of fish, including walleyes. And a lot of walleye anglers are just too scared to go in there into that jungle because they know they're gonna get hung up. But with this rig right here, you can get that into almost any nasty weed jungle and catch walleyes. Um, now this jig is made by Northland. It's their, their weedless jig. And then on the back of that, on this particular rig, I have a Billy Rub Baits Hot Shot, which has been a great bait for me. Uh, you don't want any crazy curly tails or paddle tails. You want a straight tail and you just snap that bait when you get it down into a pocket, twitch it a couple times, swim it, and the walleyes just come out of those weed pockets and smoke it. And when they hit it, that weed guard comes down, you can set the hook. Uh, I definitely use heavier line when I'm doing this. Um, I'll use like uh, maybe a 10 pound or 12 pound leader just to rip those fish out of the weeds, but it's a super deadly technique. If you wanna learn more about jigs, I'll, uh, I'll leave a, a video at the end here that shows you everything you could possibly wanna know about walleye jigs. It's almost 30 minutes long, goes super in depth, so make sure you watch that. Thanks for watching this video, guys. Like, make sure you subscribe to the channel. We'll see you next time, get hooked up.